What if I told you that a single click could plunge an entire nation into chaos? Quite a thought, isn't it? In our increasingly interconnected world, this is not just a hypothetical scenario, but a stark reality. The digital age has brought us unprecedented levels of convenience and connectivity. But with it, it has also introduced a new frontier for conflict. The cyberspace. This invisible battlefield is teeming with threats that can strike at any moment. They are not bound by geographical borders, nor are they restricted by conventional defenses. They are insidious, relentless, and often invisible until it's too late. We call them cyber attacks. Cyber attacks come in various forms, each more cunning and damaging than the last. There are data breaches, where confidential information is stolen and often sold to the highest bidder. Then there's ransomware, a type of malicious software that locks you out of your own systems, holding your data hostage until a ransom is paid. And let's not forget phishing scams, where unsuspecting victims are tricked into revealing sensitive information. But among these dangers, there's a breed of cyber criminals who have perfected their craft to a frightening degree. They are known as cyber espionage groups, and among them, one name stands out, Fancy Bear. Fancy Bear is not some cute, harmless creature of the wild. No, it's a notorious Russian cyber espionage group that has been linked to some of the most high-profile cyber attacks in recent years. They are feared, they are ruthless, and they're incredibly effective. But who exactly are these cyber criminals known as Fancy Bear, and what makes them so feared? In the shadowy world of cyber espionage, Fancy Bear is a name that sends chills down the spine of many a cybersecurity expert. This notorious group, also known as APT28, has been active for over a decade, with a trail of cyber devastation that spans the globe. Fancy Bear's history is shrouded in mystery, but there's one thread that ties it all together a suspected affiliation with the Russian government. While the connection is not officially confirmed, cybersecurity experts have found numerous links that point to this conclusion. The group's targets, its modus operandi, and even the working hours of its operatives all suggest a connection to the Russian state. The group's cyber attacks are infamous, not only for their sophistication but also for their high-profile targets. In the world of politics, Fancy Bear made headlines worldwide with their alleged interference in the 2016 US elections. The group is suspected of hacking into the Democratic National Committee's email servers, casting a long shadow over one of the most contentious elections in recent history. But it's not just the political arena where Fancy Bear leaves its paw prints. The world of sports has also been a target. The International Olympic Committee fell prey to their cyber schemes when confidential medical records of athletes were leaked causing a huge uproar in the international community. What makes Fancy Bear so formidable is their ability to evolve. They're known for their use of advanced persistent threats, where they gain unauthorized access to a network and remain undetected for a long period. This allows them to extract a large amount of data over time, causing massive damage. So, why is Fancy Bear so successful? It's a combination of technical prowess, persistence, and the ability to exploit human weaknesses. Their techniques are advanced, their determination unwavering, and their ability to manipulate individuals through social engineering is unparalleled. But how do they execute their attacks, and why are they so successful? Stay tuned, as we delve deeper into the world of Fancy Bear, and how we can defend against such formidable adversaries in the world of cyber espionage. Behind every successful cyber attack, there is a meticulously planned strategy that exploits the vulnerabilities of the target. As we delve deeper into the art of cyber espionage, we uncover the tactics and techniques employed by the notorious Russian cyber espionage group, Fancy Bear. Their arsenal is vast, and their strategies, cunning. They are like digital predators, patiently waiting for the right moment to strike, using every tool at their disposal to compromise their targets. One of their most commonly used tactics is spear phishing. This is not your run-of-the-mill phishing scam. Spear phishing is far more targeted and personalized. Fancy Bear would craft emails that appear to be from someone the target knows, like a colleague or a trusted institution. These emails often contain malicious links or attachments that once clicked or downloaded, provide Fancy Bear with a backdoor into the target system. Another technique they employ is the use of zero-day exploits. These are vulnerabilities in software that are unknown to those who should be interested in mitigating the vulnerability, including the vendor of the target software. 
Fancy Bear has been known to exploit these vulnerabilities before software companies can patch them, giving them unfettered access to their target systems. Their tactics don't stop at technical know-how. They also employ social engineering to manipulate their victims into revealing sensitive information. They might pose as a trusted friend or family member, or even an authority figure to trick their victims into revealing passwords or other valuable information. Yet it's essential to remember that these are not just faceless hackers in a far-off land, but skilled operatives who have mastered the art of deception and manipulation. They are not invincible, but understanding their tactics is crucial in defending against them. Yet knowing their tactics is half the battle. How can we protect ourselves from such threats? Stay tuned as we delve into the defensive measures we can take to protect ourselves from the dark arts of cyber espionage. In the face of such formidable adversaries, safeguarding our digital lives may seem like a daunting task. However, the battle for cybersecurity is not one we can shy away from. In this digital age, our lives are intricately woven into the fabric of technology. Our personal details, financial information, even our deepest secrets are stored in the form of ones and zeros, ripe for the picking for those with the knowledge and the inclination to steal them. The first line of defense is our passwords. They are the keys to our digital kingdom, and as such, they should be as complex and unguessable as possible. A jumble of letters, numbers and symbols that mean nothing to anyone but you. And remember, no two locks should have the same key, so avoid using the same password across multiple platforms. Next, we have two-factor authentication. This is like having a guard at the gate of your digital fortress. Even if someone manages to steal your key, they still have to get past the guard. Two-factor authentication adds an additional layer of security by requiring a second method of verification, typically a code sent to your mobile device. Then there's software updates. These are like the renovations and repairs to your digital fortress. They patch up any cracks in the walls, strengthen any weak points, and generally make sure everything is in the best possible shape to withstand an attack. Regularly updating your software ensures that you have the most up-to-date defenses against the latest threats. And finally, we must remember that cybersecurity is not a one-time deal. It's an ongoing battle, a constant vigilance against the ever-evolving threats of the digital world. It requires us to be proactive, to stay informed, and to never let our guard down. But remember, the fight against cyber threats is a continuous one. In this digital battlefield, every one of us has a role to play. We're not just passive spectators in this world of ones and zeros, but active participants. Each time we log in, each time we click, each time we share or download or upload, we're stepping into the arena. And like any arena, there are threats lurking in the shadows. These threats, these cyber predators, they don't discriminate. They don't care about your age, your job, your nationality. If you're connected, you're a potential target. And that's why it's up to each and every one of us to not just be aware, but to act. Staying vigilant in this digital cosmos is more than just updating your antivirus software or avoiding suspicious emails. It's about understanding the landscape, about recognizing the signs of an attack, about knowing what to do when faced with a threat. It's about spreading this knowledge, about sharing best practices, about learning from each other. Because here's the thing, cyber threats are constantly evolving. They're adapting, becoming more sophisticated, more insidious. Just like the Russian cyber espionage group Fancy Bear we've discussed, these threats are not stagnant, they're not dormant, they're alive, they're active, and they're always on the move. And so we too must move, we too must adapt, we too must evolve. We must be proactive, not just reactive. We must arm ourselves with knowledge, with understanding, with vigilance. We must share this armor with others, with our friends, our families, our communities. Because in this digital battlefield, every one of us has a role to play. Every one of us can make a difference. Every one of us can help turn the tide in this war against cyber threats. The war against cyber threats is far from over, but together, we can make the digital world a safer place. Stay vigilant, stay safe.